Wow. Did I really wake for 6 a.m.? Rob, you made it. Are you ready to rock the wolf wall? Um, that sounds frightening. Let's go. We're not in Texas anymore, Toto. I get that you miss. Actually, I don't know what you could possibly miss about Texas. I don't want to say downer or that you've been a bit bleh, but it's bumming us all out at home. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, sorry, it's just not a big deal. And I'm not super excited about being back. The new old newlyweds don't help either. But what if our parents are happy again? Maybe you should give it a real shot. You know, find something here that you care about. Please? For me? And he's gone. Okay. Hey. Hi. How was your first practice? What? Oh, cheer. Um, awful. Yeah, terrible. Really? I don't think it's for me. It's nothing like dance at all. There's these crazy flying moves and everybody's kicking and I'm gonna quit. You don't have to quit. I told you, I don't care that you made it. Yeah, but I never wanted to cheer. But they wanted you and not me, so at least give it a try. Yo, welcome back. So, you back for good now? Guess so. Parents are still trying to make it work. I don't really have much of a choice. Just like the old days, huh? I heard you're managing the football team nowadays. Yeah, my dad always told me I was going to be running back, but found out that you had to be fast for that. So, not really my thing. Thing is, I was a quarterback for my old school. We made it to state last year. No way, TK. That's awesome. I was going to see if you could maybe help me talk to the captain. See if there's any spots opening up. TK, you know I always got your back, but I mean, we've been pretty filled up this year and had a lot of people step up since you've been gone. Come on, like you said, it'll be like the old days. All right, let's see what Ty says. Thanks, Flash. <laughs> wrong side of the bed? Thanks. I'm just teasing. What's wrong? Everything. I feel like it's either homework or working at Junior's. And I picked up two extra shifts to help my mom with money. My mom's a lot of work. According to her, at least. Sometimes I wish I could just sip lattes with the chicken girls and not worry about money. Is this the part where you offer to cover my shift? Wish I could, but you know, Tuesdays are our busiest day. <sighs> I'm gonna be working at Junior's when I'm 80. Good things come to those who wait. And in conclusion, daylight savings not only kills your circadian rhythm, it causes traffic accidents, and it makes talking to people in different time zones nearly impossible. Thank you, Ellie. Those are some good points. Yes, Carlos. Wrong, and I'll tell you why. First, more daylight means more productivity, and therefore more money for corporations. Because they need more money. Second, more daylight means more time for activities and less time for crimes that are oftentimes committed in the dark of night. Spoken like a true criminal. What was that, Ellie? Nothing. What's up? I was just wondering if we could talk. Sure, hit me. 
Let me guess. You're wondering why I'm a cheerleader when I'm dressed like I could be in an indie band? <laughs> now that you mention it. It was never really on my radar, but one thing my mom always taught me was that I should try anything at least once. So I tried cheer. Next thing I knew, I was captain. Does it ever make you question your identity? Or like, weird out your friends? People who judge me in this outfit are on the sidelines. I just ask myself, have they been accepted to Yale? You're going to Yale? Another plot twist, am I right? I don't think anyone should be boxed in by social constructs. I can be aggressive, but I can also be aggressive. Wanna help me Photoshop this? One of the layers is off. Hashtag Tuesday Tea. Get ready, cause I'm about to spill it all. Oh yeah? It's about to be like TMZ, the high school years. In one corner, TK and rhyme time. In another, why can't Robbie see when I call him? <laughs> and in the other, can we cheer Quinn up? Tuesday? Hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, you know those um triple ice mocha macchiato things that you make that are so delicious? You mean the macchiatos? Uh, yeah, those. I would like a whole round available for the chicken grills. No, I know it's not tea per se, but they're delish. So then, anything for the famous chicken grills? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Looking at you. Sorry, bro, no. No? Look, these guys have been busting their butts off for years during the spot. I get it, but why can't I practice Sorry. with... Sorry, look, no can do. Rules. All right, hey, come try out for us in the fall. Nah, that's cool. Okay. Oh, whoa, man, I'm sorry. I got it. I'm Wes, by the way. I know who you are. So that was a decent cappuccino, but I would like a cappuccino, yes. So we're gonna try that again, but with a little more gusto. Yes, and um, please don't forget my Ralph Macchiato. Who? The Karate Kid. Oh. Oh, and mine needs to be made with unsweetened almond milk. Got it. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised. <laughs> That is the coolest. And I'm late. Ugh. Wait, what did you want to talk about? Oh, um, nothing. I'll see you at practice tomorrow. Oh, hi, I'm gonna get you, she's late. Girl, you are so late. You're early for next week's Tuesday tea. I know, I got distracted with the school project. Okay, we all know you're a big shot cheerleader now. Barely on the team. Shh, she's coming, she's coming. Hi, hey, cousin, can I take your order? Ah, yes. I was wondering if you guys have any Canadian oolong tea, preferably long grain. Can Canadian oolong? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of waiting hand and foot on all of you like I'm Cinderella. Look, maybe I'm not a part of your super special girl gang or whatever, but I'm still a person and I deserve to be treated. Surprise! Surprise! Wait, 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 what is this? Well, we're so lucky to have you as our friend and now to be a part of our super special girl gang. Forever! <laughs> Come here. I love you. <laughs> Shaking girl. Ready? That was really cool of you guys. She's been wanting that for a while. Did she tell you that? Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of obvious. Guess you're right. So Astrid's a chicken girl and you're a cheerleader. Or is that something that you decided not to do? I thought about it, and I think I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, I can be aggressive, but I can also be e aggressive. 
I gotta say, cheerleader or not, you're pretty cute. Thomas, are you okay? I don't know. I thought we weren't gonna speak for a while. I know, I just miss you. I miss Texas. Did something bad happen? I just don't belong here. I wanna see you. You're the best boyfriend, Tommy. I knew you wouldn't leave me. Next time on Chicken Girls. Where do you think you're going? This place has really changed. I've changed. Looks like we got a little company. Let's get the show on the road. It's just a gamer. You can do it, sophomore. 